Hi, I'm Noah Sheffield, class of 2024. I play shortstop. I go to Tampa Prep and I'm committed to Florida State. This is Day in the Life. At three years old, uh, I started my baseball journey. Uh, got inter interested in uh, by my dad. Uh, handed a bat in my hand, and then never put it down since. I picked FSU over any other college program mainly because of the coaches and just the atmosphere when I walked on the field uh, trying to attend the game. Uh, right now it's just mainly the coaches and how they made me feel and I felt like that's where I belong. So my recruitment process with Florida State was quite quick. Uh, I got in contact with the coach uh, and then I went to a camp. They liked what I did at the camp and then I got my offer maybe the next day after the camp. And then uh, I think I committed on that day and then I, I announced my commitment at the select fest. Come on. Put that hand up. Good. Good. Come on. Good. Put the hand up, Lord. Come on, get it up. Good. Come on. Good. Uh, being committed to a D1 school just means that you put in the work, but there's still more work to be put in. Uh, it's just more of a, I need to be at a certain expectation and need to continue to work because my goal is initially to become an MLB player. So I still have more work to put in and the pressure doesn't really phase me. It's just, it just rests me. Uh, there's no more stress anymore. My greatest strength, I would say my bat and glove. Uh, I think that helps my team the most. And then maybe a strength is just reading plays and being where I'm supposed to be, but I'm, I'm gonna get that.
Uh, my top three players right now in the league are Ronald Acuna, uh, Aaron Judge, and uh, Xander Bogarts. Uh, I like uh, Ronald Acuna because of the energy he brings to the game. I like Xander Bogarts, even though he's on Boston, but he just shows how being a shortstop should be played. And Aaron Judge, I just, just got to go with the Yankees. So this is Aaron Judge. A game day superstition, uh, make sure I have an uh, armband on, on on one of my arms. I make sure my I have the same cleats on. Uh, I do the same thing I do when I go up to the plate, whether if, it, if I don't get a hit, I'll switch sides or I'll, I'll just switch up what I do and then I'll definitely make sure it's my cleats. It depends on how I'm doing. My favorite baseball memory was uh, definitely Cooperstown in 2019. My team uh, won, won it all. I uh, hit three home runs that game in the championship game. So that was just a great experience to play in probably in front of about 3,000 people. And it's just like, just more inspiring to make it to the next level because it's just it's just nice to be in the atmosphere. Oh, same guy, killing it with. Don't stress and waste a lot of money on all the showcases. Just go to a couple of showcases because you don't want to be overexposed, but you would want to put in the work undercover and then just come out of nowhere and then just show what you have because then it's better to not show everybody what you have instead of coming and then just surprising everybody. Uh, so today we did hitting, fielding, uh, in the fielding we did cone drill uh, to keep your feet low or stay low to the ground, uh, move your feet and throw the ball. Then we did quick hand drills to pull the part and then get your form right. Then we moved on to a game called Patilla, 
uh, the Dominican game, like I said. Uh, then we just played that for a little bit, and then we moved on to the cage. Uh, did softball drills. Um, did uh, side toss and front toss. And then that was mainly our day. That was it. We do it for reps.